hello students today our topic of discussion is force displacement relationship and geometric compatibility we have two kinds of motion one is moment and second one is deformation so here we are going to analysis of deformable bodies and for this analysis we have three steps first study of forces and equilibrium requirements second study of deformation and condition of geometric compatibility or we can say that geometric fit and third one is the application of force deformation relation for this all or we can say that for explaining these three steps let us consider an example by which we can explain or exhaust all of these three steps for this we consider this example from diagram 1 let us consider a metallic container in which two springs or we can say that it contains two springs spring a and b ka represent the spring constant of spring a and kb represents the spring constant of spring b and length of these springs is l given by l before deformation that is before applying any kind of force on these springs here gives a piston on which force f is applied this is the <laughs> diagram for two spring system if we want to draw a free body diagram as we discuss in earlier lecture free body diagram free body diagrams explains that how many forces acting on a particular body this gives the free body diagram of piston air force f is applied on piston in downward direction and force fa and fb is the reaction or we can say that the force applied by the springs on piston on opposite direction it gives forces due to fa and fb are the forces due to the springs which are which acts in opposite direction to the force of application of the piston so this is the free body diagram of piston this one gives the free body diagram of spring a this one gives the free body diagram of spring b in this fa force on spring due to piston delta a is the deformation in spring a after application of force f and fa is the force applied by spring on piston 
in opposite direction similar this gives the free body diagram of spring b on spring b fb is forced due to piston delta b is the deformation in spring b and fb is the force which is the result of reaction on piston due to spring b this is all about this arrangement that is the arrangement of the springs piston in a container further we will discuss all three points by taking this arrangement so let us talk about first point which says that according to diagram free body diagram or we can say that free body diagram piston shows that total force is applied on the top of the piston and that is balanced by equal and opposite force which is fa and fb these forces are due to spring a and spring b and free, from free body diagram of spring a and b we see that spring a and b are under compression spring a and b are under compression as we push the piston spring a and spring b will compress and that is nothing but two force member kind of thing two force member kind of thing means in this case two forces acting on whole arrangement first due to piston which is in downward direction and second one due to springs that is in opposite direction of the force of application of the piston next as we see from diagram piston is moving by an amount delta which can we see from the diagram as we push the piston downward direction there is a deformation that is given by delta in vertical direction similarly delta a and delta b are the vertical deformation in spring a and b now we can going to discuss these three steps first fa fa gives the force due to spring a which is equal to ka into delta a delta a is the deformation in spring a and k is the spring constant of spring a similarly fb is equal to kb into delta b in this way we study the force and as we discuss earlier the equilibrium condition what are the equilibrium condition which says that if total force and moment acting on a body is equal to zero then we can say that the body is in equilibrium here summation fy gives the total force and summation m is equal to zero gives the total moment and summation f of x gives the total displacement this is the condition of equilibrium so from diagram we can say that f is equal to f a plus f b or we can say that f a plus f b minus f is equal to 0 
एफ इज द टोटल फोर्स ड्यू टू पिस्टन एफ ए एंड एफ बी आर द फोर्स ड्यू टू स्प्रिंग्स विच आर इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन तो फ्रॉम एयर वी कैन से दैट एफ इज इक्वल टू एफ ए प्लस एफ बी दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी शो हेयर दैट द अमाउंट ऑफ फोर्स अप्लाइड बाय द पिस्टन ऑन स्प्रिंग इज इक्वल एंड अपोजिट that is said that is same amount of force is applied by the springs but in opposite direction now in second step we are not going to consider any tilt in the spring so amount of displacement in piston and both of the spring is nothing but geometric compatibility what it mean that is geometric compatibility is says that deformation in spring a will be equal to deformation in spring b here nothing a yeah, no tilt in piston means an equal amount of force is applied by the piston on both of the spring is equal that's why deformation in spring a will be equal to deformation in spring b or it we can say that it will be equal to delta that is deformation in both the spring a and b is same now in third step as we already know for spring a f a is equal to k a into delta because delta a is equal to delta b is equal to delta so delta a is equal to delta and in case this delta b is equal to delta we can use this in equation in equation number 1 and by using this in equation number 1 we got delta is equal to f by k a plus k b that is from equation number 3 we can say that if we know that how much force is applied and if we know the property of spring then we can find how much spring can deform that is if we know amount of force and spring constant we can easily say that how much deformation can a spring can bear or how much spring is going to deform this is very useful thing on the basis of this we can design shock absorber in the vehicles we already know the weight and other parameters on the basis of which on the basis of this we can find out the deformation in the springs and we can de design shock absorber further if we move we can find how much force is shared by the springs if two or more springs are used in a shock absorber with the help of this we can find how much force shared by the springs as we know f is equal to ka delta plus kb delta because ka delta is equal to fa we use here so the equation is fa plus kb delta further it is fa is equal to f minus kb delta as we know value of delta and f by using this in equation this we can find out fa fa 
the force on spring A. That is by knowing these parameters we can easily we can easily find out the force bear by a spring similarly for spring b we can cal calculate force on spring b that how much force is going to apply on spring b so this was this was the case in which force and deformation are in vertical direction now we are going to discuss deformation in horizontal direction or we can say that uniaxial loading and deformation here we consider three cases consider a road which have area of cross section a and length is l1 here deformation is uniaxial that is p is the force here p is the applied force and delta 1 is the deformation that is increase in the length original length was l1 and l1 plus delta 1 was the length after application of the force in second case length are equal that is in case first and area of cross section is greater as compared to case 1 a2 and delta 2 is the deformation and in case third length is less as compared to case 1 and 2 but area of cross section is equal to in case second and L3 is the deformation from previous figures that is figure 1 2 and 3 we see that L1 and L2 are equal but greater than L3 and if we are going to discuss area of cross section area of cross section of ro in case 1 is less than for case 2 but in case 2 and 3 area of cross section is equal hence here nature of force is tangile as we discuss force is applied in horizontal direction so it is not compressible force it is tangile deforming force so uniaxial member it could be steel rod or copper rod or maybe some any uniaxial member and p is the uniaxial force or we can say axial force suppose we are gradually applying force p and note it down the deformation in figure 2 and 3 it is a plot between axial force P and deformation in material similar thing is given in diagram 3 let us discuss these diagrams or these plots between P and delta as we apply small amount of force delta P we can say that we apply a total deforming force in 10 steps by increasing small amount of deforming force and regarding this we are going to note it down the deformation and by this after applying total force we plot a graph between p and delta which is given by plot 2 and 3 
first if material is linear that is plot number 2 figure 2 shows the deformation which shows that deformation and deforming force are directly proportional to each other it can be happen if the material is linear we get linear variation and figure 3 shows that if material is non-linear then we got non-linear variation and if we plot for linear relation then all lines will merge together and can be simply explained by this figure then slope of this line is known as slope of this line is known as modulus of elasticity given by capital A and which is equal to P by A divided by delta Y L where P is the deforming force A is the area of cross section delta is the deformation L and is the original length and from equation number 6 we can further find out deformation by knowing the these four factors that is deforming force how much force we apply what is the length of the material what is the area of the cross section of the material and what is the modulus of elasticity of that particular material by knowing these factors these things we can find out the deformation of any kind of material this is all about of today's topic force displacement relationship and geometric compatibility thank you